After the arrival of Hurricane Aaron's remnants in Europe last week, something quickly shifted in the overall weather pattern. If we rewind this back to August 22nd when Aaron was still close to North America, Northern and Eastern Europe was being overtaken by a cooler air mass as areas further south and west experienced warmer and calmer conditions. Any rainfall trying to move in from the Atlantic never really reached land, but that quickly changed on Monday, August 25th. That's when Aaron arrived in Ireland, the UK, and Iceland as an extratropical cyclone. Other than some rain and wind in spots, the biggest story with Aaron was the large waves it brought across Western Europe and even as far away as Northern Africa, something which is less common during the summer, especially further south. Over the course of the last few days of August, the center of low pressure very slowly degraded, but even though Aaron's journey was coming to an end, this was only the beginning of a new weather pattern which swiftly set in, and that brings us to today, September 1st. Aaron is now history, but low pressure continues to be established across northwestern Europe. Lots of scattered shower activity can be seen across France, Ireland, and the UK with the center of low pressure lurking close to Scotland. That's causing some particularly heavy downpours in the area, but rain and cloud cover associated with this system can be found as far east as Germany, Denmark, and Norway, and then down in southeastern France and northern Italy. A concerning situation is unfolding today, where extremely heavy rainfall and severe thunderstorms can be expected as this expansive area of low pressure is able to interact with the warm Mediterranean. For the eastern half of Europe, it's a completely different story. Many places are enjoying mostly sunny skies and warm weather with some patches of cloudiness mixed in. The only area with disturbed weather is around Romania, Moldova, and Ukraine. That's where downpours and thunderstorm activity are expected today in association with a separate system. Now switching this over to the convective overview graphic, as we go through tonight you can already see the next disturbance coming in off the Atlantic. This is going to bring a wave of heavier rain for southern England and then spreading throughout France tomorrow. Besides that, heavy rainfall and severe weather will continue to sweep across Italy overnight, so it could be a loud night for some spots. Here comes our third disturbance during the day on Tuesday. This will bring widespread rainfall and some gusty winds throughout a large part of Ireland, the UK, France, and the Benelux Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then as that mass of disturbed weather lifts north towards southern Scandinavia, watch out for those strong to severe storms crossing the Adriatic and affecting the Balkan Peninsula during the day on Wednesday with a separate system hitting the Caucasus region pretty hard. On top of that, the fourth disturbance of the week will be sneaking in just south of Ireland. This one should also be quite small like disturbance too, but it will certainly be enough to keep heavy rainfall in the forecast, especially across France, and eventually for areas east of there from Thursday into Friday. Once that heads inland, we finally get more of a break, but it doesn't take long for disturbance 5 to show itself over the weekend. Unlike the last several waves of rain which stayed a little further north, this one could deliver measurable rain across the Asodish Islands and perhaps across Portugal and parts of Spain. For now, it's a trend to keep an eye on, but if nothing else, the pest from the west will be in full swing for the foreseeable future. Here's all the rain we might see over the next 10 days. It's no surprise that Iceland, Ireland, the UK, France, Central Europe, and Scandinavia have the highest totals. The yellow shades indicate upwards of 40, 50, even 60 millimeters of rain. Well over 100 millimeters are possible in the orange and especially red, so those are some spots to be mindful of due to the potential for flash flooding. Now for some parts of southern and eastern Europe, some rain is also possible. Yet, there really isn't an overwhelming signal for widespread extreme rainfall outside of northern Italy. Nonetheless, remember that isolated showers and storms can still pose a localized flood risk. The potential for flooding can also be augmented in areas that have received torrential rainfall recently, and I think the soil moisture anomaly map helps us visualize generally where this has occurred. Notice how most of France, northern Spain, Italy, and parts of the Adriatic coast have saturated soil from recent rainfall, and with a lot more on the way. It's definitely worth paying attention to any rain or flood warnings that may be issued in your area. That's going to be all for this first video of September 2025. If you'd like to stay updated on the latest information, remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and also follow me on X and Instagram for supplementary updates. Now to conclude this forecast, please enjoy the featured media slideshow.